Cotopaxi is one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world. Part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, it's located just 30 miles south of Quito, Ecuador. The volcano has erupted more than 50 times in the past 300 years. And because it is active, people living nearby are under constant threat. 80% of the churches are in the path of possible destruction. Pastor Felipe Quispe and his wife Teresa Bastidas pack away musical instruments used by their church praise band. They started the Breath of Life Christian Center 35 years ago. Now they're forced to evacuate. As a human, I'm pained, yes, after all the efforts have been made because the truth here, we've had tithes, offerings, and we've had no outside help at all. Pastor Felipe and his 300 church members are trusting God to keep them safe. We know that God will free us from the risk of death. He will care for us. CBN News traveled around the outskirts of the volcano and found evidence left behind many years ago. We visited Chilintosa, a rock dating back to the 19th century, the last time Cotopaxi erupted. The huge boulder attracts both locals and foreigners. I've come with my children and grandkids to show them what it really means to be at the edge of the Cotopaxi. Despite evidence of past destruction, many residents still refuse to leave their homes. I am not afraid because there are many gaps where the lava can go. Others are packing up their belongings. Since I heard about the Cotopaxi, I've been concerned for my family, my husband and daughter. While some people have left the city of La Tacunga, many Christians remain. They've launched a prayer campaign called I Pray for My City. We call for the church to wake up and hold prayer in Cotopaxi, in La Tacunga, and in the whole country, as well as people in other areas not directly affected to help us pray too. Despite their fears, some local citizens attended a recent rally to pray for God's protection. We're praying for God to have mercy on our city and province. Nothing is impossible for God. Cotopaxi Christians are trusting God for a miracle. They say they'll hold more rallies and pray until the volcano becomes dormant. Gary Lane, CBN News.